Hello, so um, Engineer Luigi and Alcarda again from Naudas IT Philippines at for today, ituturo ko naman po sa inyo yung um, tutorial number 1 ng ating Midas Gen ito po yung uh, simple 2-way steel structure so now we will begin um, we will make sure that we have added uh, we have created a new project, ito po yung lalabas and we will uh, save this as tutorial number one. Yep. And let's just save that. Tutorial number one. <coughs> For this project, po, ang gagamitin po natin units are going to be kips and feet for this project. And after that, we will make sure that we are using the XZ plane of the universal coordinate system z plane origin is 0 0 I'm going 0 and just click on no. ok so there we have it we are, at, we are in our x z plane now let's define our point grid so defining point grid naman po we will be using 2 feet by 2 feet click on ok, makikita po natin dyan na meron po tayong grids who are 2 feet on the x and z directions from each other now after that we will now create our properties our material properties po for the material this time we will be using steel steel standard na gagamitin natin is ASTM steel ASTM um, open close S for steel. From the database, the gamitin naman po natin is A36. And uh, we can just click on OK. After that, our section naman po, we will have an I section. The gamitin natin database is going to be AISC. And for the section name, we will be using W8A35 for this one name W835 and just click apply the next one naman po ang gagamitin natin is W16 by 67 and just click on ok now we can see that we have already added two kinds of sections there sa ating, uh, sa ating project now we can just hide our view and uh, display node numbers and display element numbers for future po na work now let's go to our works tree we have we can see here that we have added one material which is a36 and two sections which are w835 by w16 by 67 <coughs> and uh, uh, let's go now to create our elements let's go back to node element tabs just create elements ito po niyan. Let's make sure na ang name na gagamitin natin is yung section W8 by 35 for this one. Beta angle po tayo in 0 degrees. And sa nodal connectivity naman po, let's create our uh, elements on 0, 0, 0 hanggang sa 0, 12, 0 on the universal coordinate system. After that, let's create another one on 20, 0 hanggang 2012 lastly on 40 40 0 and 40 12 now after doing that let's uh let's change the section name naman from w835 to w1667 still data angle is zero a nodal connectivity will be creating our element from node 2 to node 6 makikita po natin yan Jan. so let's just create that okay so we have created two elements in one i mean in two clicks because we have intersected the node and element po na nandun. so now we can just uh, close this and let we can go back to our view tabs and uh, Balik po tayo dun sa ating global coordinate system. 
toggle on switch to global coordinate system and you can see this that we have made our our element now after doing that we'll be we'll be duplicating that we'll be copying that so we can select all makikita po natin that we have selected all of our elements and nodes in there and what we can do next is to translate let's just go to node and element tabs and click on translate elements now ito po yung we make sure na we are translating elements not just the nodes so, ito po kasi yung uh, while we are translating nodes we can also translate our elements in a different function so we just click on translate element for this and what we can do is to uh, the mode is to copy um, equals, equal distance naman po is gagawin natin 0 24 0 that means we will translate uh, we will translate all of these elements patungo 0 24 0 which is somewhere here and we can just um, number of times na gusto natin siya i-copy is 1 and we can click on apply now through that we can see that we have created these elements here already after doing that let's create another set of elements using uh, create elements now ang gagamitin naman po natin dito is A36 and W16 by 67 still data angle 0 nodal connectivity naman po we will begin in this one from this node to that node another one in here and another one in here uh, but still we are not done we will still be creating these ones here and another one dito now you can see that we have already created this so we can now close this now going po natin is to next is to select these elements right here element 14 and element 17 kasi gusto po natin gawin is the, uh, punta po tayo sa boundary tabs and let's set their beam and release beam and release naman po let us make it in pin and click on apply makikita po natin dito sa ating works tree that we have two beam and releases of type 1 we can display those makikita po natin sila dyan at the end of our elements and nodes 15, 16, and 13, 14. And we can select to undisplay that. After that, we will define our supports. And defining supports, let's just click on define support. And we will select the all or all because we want our supports to be uh, fixed. After that, we select the nodes na nasa taba yung mga bottom nodes po natin like select those you can see that we have selected all 6 so we can just click on apply after that you can see that we have created 6 supports in here you can choose to display them or undisplay them if we want to now after that we will now define our <coughs> static load cases by going to our load tabs uh, create static load cases. Nagawin po natin dito is we will name DL for dead load. Click on add. LL for live load and we click on add. WX for wind load on structure. Add. And lastly, WY for wind load on structure. And click on add. After making sure that we have added that, those are yet to be defined pa. We can just close this. And we will define our self-weight. Now, dito naman po sa self-weight load case name na gagamitin natin is DL. Negative 1 on the Z direction. We can add that 
and we can just close this we can see in our works tree that we have uh, self weight of z negative 1 for dead load under static loads na create natin after doing that, we will now assign our floor loads. Okay. We will now assign our floor loads. And first, let's define our floor load type. Tatawag naman po natin sa floor load type natin is gonna be office room. Description is gonna be second floor. Uh, load case for dead load and live loads only and then it in ating values for negative 1 for um, dead load and negative 0.5 for I mean 0.5 for live load and we can just click on add for that and close them now after after defining our floor load types let's now assign our floor loads uh, po. Uh, load type is the office room distribution for ngayon is gonna be two-way global z direction now it's defining load area click po natin siya so we can now uh, add kung saan po natin ilalagay yung ating floor load and we can see here that we have added floor loads there now after doing that we can choose to undisplay them and let's define now our nodal loads ito po yung loads na who, who only act on our nodes so let's click on load case na nang gagamitin natin is gonna be wx and for along forces on X, it's gonna be 20 kips. Naman. After that, we select the nodes na gusto nating lagyan ng load. Is then, ito po sila. Those nodes. Uh, node 2 and 8. And we click apply. Now, we can see that we have added two nodal loads in here. We can choose to display them. We are 20 kips each on the x direction that is the wind load wx after that the next thing we do is to make a element beam load beam load let's just ito, element beam load let's select wy for that and direction naman, it's gonna be global Y, papunta po doon sa Y direction. And ang weight po na lalagyan natin is gonna be 1.0 only. But let's select these frames. Kasi dyan po natin i-apply yung ating, uh, ating wind load. And let's click on apply. Now, so wind load Y naman, we have element beam loads for 7. You can choose to display them. Ito na po yun, na may 1 kips per feet ang ating element beam load. Now, after doing that, we can choose to undisplay that and go to our initial view here. Ito na po yung ginawa nating um, structure for today but makikita po natin na ang ating columns are smaller than our our beams so we can always change that here um, just right click on w8 by 35 since yun po yung gusto natin change ito tayo sa properties and we can change this to say w36 by 300 para po mas malaki uh, and just click OK. So you can see there that we have changed our our um, our section. After that, we go to our analysis tabs, and we can now perform an, our analysis. Okay. 
Okay, now after we perform our analysis, now that we are on our post-processing mode, we can go now to our results tab to check our results. But first, we will uh, create our load combinations. For general load combination, po, I will teach you how to create your own load combinations. Um, this time, we will name it load combination 1. Description naman po, it's gonna be 1.0 dead load plus 1.0 live load. Now, dito sa load case factor, we can have dead load, which is 1.0 to to have it uh, to have it similar in here. And lastly, our live load, which is also 1.0, and we'll create another one. Uh, we'll name it LC2. This time, ibang load case combination naman po siya. It's going to be 1.2 dead load plus 0.5 live load plus 1.3 wind load on Y. Now, after doing that, we make sure na dadagdag po tayo. That's, that should be 1.2. The other one is live load which is 0 0.5 Lastly, wind load on Y which is 1.3 uh, 1.3 a factor Now, after doing that, we can just close this so we can apply them later Now, after doing that, we can just check on our uh, our results by first checking on our reactions let's say on dead load po uh, reaction forces on z we can click that and we can see here that these are our reactions pwede po natin ipakita ang value ito po yung values ng ating reactions the red being the most critical one and we can just check that uh, after we can check for our deformations yung deformed shape naman po ng ating structure this time let's use um, the first load combination that we created and um, deformation we can deformation skill factor is 1 real deformation po we can click ok that is how our our structure deforms so displacement <coughs> excuse me we also check our displacement contour using our first or any load combination that we want to that we want to try now let's try the other one the second one that we created and we can click apply ito po yung magiging displacement con uh, displacement contour niya and we can also check our Beam forces or moments. Beam forces and moments. Click the tie jam. That's it. Beam diagrams. You can also do that. And these are the beam diagrams based on Fx, based on Fz. Um, now for a different load combination. Let's try dead load, apply now, you can always do that here. Now, sa beam element naman po, drop down menu under detail, let's check our uh, element detail results. Element detail results naman po, say let's check element number 11 in a particular load case, let's say yung first load case na ginawa natin. And we can click enter. Oh. See? Sorry, sorry about that. Moment number eleven. Okay. 
to review kung meron ko po ta talaga tayong yeah, yeah. element number 11 element number 11 actually you can click this there and pull that at po yung ating uh, element detail results for that particular element you can check the forces the forces if you want to print that we can do you can always print that um stresses naman po as well we can print that as well now after doing that we can go to we can also check our beam stresses here now in our beam stresses we will use say this a combination and uh, we can just apply for the makikita natin beam stresses um, let's try uh, the beam element analysis I mean beam detail analysis naman this time okay create po ito um, ito po yung under LCB2 element number let's try number 11 again and click apply now ito na po yung ating uh, beam detail analysis for each of the beams that we want this is on the Z direction on the Y direction that's what it is section details ni naman po ito Cross section on one basis. You can always check those values if you want to. Um, pwede din po natin try ng ibang element numbers. Apply that. Ito naman po, element number 13. And you can always check this so, ito po siya dito sa maximum. Ito po yung values. Okay. Now, uh, I think that's it for our uh, tutorial. For our first tu tutorial ng Midas Gen. And I'll see you on our next video. Have a great day.